So today what we're going to be doing is installing AdGuard, which I find is a better ad blocker than Pi-hole. A special thank you to all my patrons who without your support this channel would not be possible. And if you haven't already, please think about becoming a supporter of the channel you love. Thank you. So welcome to Technodad Life and my name is Jeff and we're going to be installing AdGuard in a Docker to block ads on our whole network. And so let's take a look to see how we do that. Now to get this to actually work, uh, we actually have to do quite a bit of setup before we actually install the Docker. That's why for PyHole and actually AdGuard, it's much easier just to get a Raspberry Pi and put it on that and you won't have to change any of these other things that we're about to change. So first go to network, click on interfaces, click on your interface, click edit, and we need to change your method to static. Put in the IP address of your server, and so you can see it's here it's 192.168.8.131. Your net mask should be 255.255.255.0, you can find that on your router. And then finally, gateway is the IP address of your router, which should be your same as your IP address, but just dot one. Then we're gonna scroll down, and for DNS servers, we're going to put 1.1.1.1, and then click Save. So that's gonna prevent the first error that most people have, which it says port 68 is already being used when they try to install the Docker. So next we're going to open up PuTTY, type in systemctl space stop space systemmd-resolved, hit enter, then nano space, space slash etc slash systemmd slash resolve dot config, hit enter. So next we're going to change two things here. So we're going to space down to resolve and then where it says DNS, we're going to delete the number sign. And then make sure we have 172.0.0.1 here. And then we're going to tab down more where it says DNS stub, DNSS tub listener equals. We're going to delete that number sign. And then make sure this says no here at the end. Next, we're going to hit Control X and then Y, and then Enter. Next, we're going to make a backup copy of our resolve. So we're going to type in NV space slash etc slash resolve dot config space slash etc slash resolve dot config dot backup. Hit Enter. Then type in LN space dash S space slash run slash systemmd slash resolve slash resolve dot config space slash etc slash resolve dot config and then hit enter. Finally, we're going to restart systemmd. So system systemctl space reload dash or dash restart space systemmd slash resolve and then hit enter. So next we're ready to install the container. So go to stacks, add stack, call this add guard. And then copy and paste in the container from below. We're just going to change a few things on here. You need to change your UID and your GID. For most people, that will be 1,100 if they're using Open Media Vault. If you don't know, go to PuTTY, type in ID and your username, and where it says UID, that's our user ID, and GID is our group ID, so 1,100 for me. And then put in your time zone, and then we need to find our absolute path to our app data folder. So for this, go to Open Media Vaults, go to Shared Folders, and if it's not showing up already, click on the down arrow next to Relative Path columns, click on Absolute Path, then right click on the Absolute Path for App Data, click Inspect, double click, and then Copy. You can close that. Paste in your app data directions here and then put in slash app add guard slash work. Then put in the same thing down here. 
And then you can click deploy stack and it's time for a cup of coffee. Once that's done, AdGuard will be here. And if we go to containers, click on the piece of paper, we can see AdGuard is on port 3000. So we copy our IP address, paste it in, and then put in colon 3000. Hit enter. Next we click get started. And then for port interface, we're going to put 3000 for us. Click next and then put in a username and password. Click next and then next again. And then open dashboard. Now we're going to log in as our user with our password. Click sign in. And so now we have AdGuard up, but it's actually not connected to anything right now. So we need to take a note of our IP address. So ours ends in .131. Go to your router, find your primary DNS settings. And so we're going to change this to our server IP address. Now for secondary DNS, you don't actually have to put this in. Uh, I don't put it in because then I know when the AdGuard server is down. Uh, if you do put it in, you just won't know automatically when the server is down. If the server does go down, then you won't get any DNS resolution, so you won't be able to surf the web, so you'll know immediately your server is down. So we're connected now. If we go to AdGuard, this has stayed the same, so let's open up a web page. So if we go to CNN.com, usually there's ads on both sides of here. So let's go over to AdGuard, see what happened. If we click Refresh, we can see there was 80 uh, inquiries just on that one page. Uh, what I like about AdGuard is it does something a little bit better than Pi-hole, and that is Pi-hole sometimes like on Amazon or Google leads the ad links, but if you click on it, it doesn't work, which is very annoying for your spouse if you want to make your spouse happy. This way the ads just disappear and they never know there were any ads there so they don't get mad about clicking on things and them not working. Now if we go back, we can see CNN is still making DNS inquiries and it's blocked 38 things. So there are any other settings that you can change here. These settings work so well that I don't change them, but if you want to, there are many things that you can change on here. But you can change things to the point where things just don't work anymore. So be cautious about that. So that's it for today. Make sure you like and subscribe. Hit that bell button. We'll see you next time, and you have a great day. Bye-bye.